Hey everyone, a quick video here uh, regarding the Contigo um, the coffee cups, the mugs with the uh, stainless steel bottom. Anyways, the lid, these things are awesome by the way, I love it, it keeps everything hot. The only complaint is maybe this one I'm going to show you, and it keeps it too hot. But that's not really a complaint. I mean, they work. If something works too good, is that is that a bad thing? Anyways, these things are awesome. Um, just had an issue lately, you know, kind of drinking, and it'd be smelling kind of bad. We wash these every after every use in the dishwasher and hand. So, um, anyways, what can happen is under here, uh, you can get a little bit of buildup because I usually drink tea or coffee and stuff with creamer in there, and um, when you press the button to release. You know, if you got a hot liquid, you you can press this to drink, and it releases some uh, steam or whatever. It's got some pressure built up. That can also come out of this area here. And what happens is a buildup can uh, get built up here. So what you want to do, there's just a little thing right there. It just kind of pops out. And I don't know, right here, it's, it's pretty clean right now, but I took... It does have some buildup right there already. So what I had before, I was like, every time I was drinking, it was like smelling. I was like, what is going on here? I know this is clean. And it had some tea had gotten up in there. And anyways, it wasn't good. So you just pop this out. You wash it out um, with, your, with some soap and water and call it good. So that's how to clean your Contigo cup. And this, as far as, uh, you know, this just pops back in there. What you want to do is get it from the... From the uh, right side, it's got this little, um, just kind of stick the knife under that little edge part and pop it out. And when you put it in, it's got the longer side, you put the left side in first. And then kind of pop it in like that. Okay? So thanks for watching, my friends. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time.